So who would have thought I'd be back again today making another video about the FX3 in this, this firmware update we just got. Just wanted to try and make this quick video to explain exposure index. I'm seeing sort of the Sony shooter community getting a lot of anxiety about this, especially people who have never used a camera like this before. And I see a lot of confusion out there. Here we go, let's give it a try. See if we can do this quickly and explain it to you like this. Don't worry about exposure index, just forget that. That's what it stands for, but just think about this. This is the way I explained it to someone. I guess because I'm old and I used film cameras before, I kind of understand because with film cameras, you used to buy film that was a specific ISO and you would load it in your camera and that's what you would use. You'd buy 400, 800, 1000, 100, whatever you bought. So if you kind of think about the exposure index or Cine EI mode on these cameras as you only have two ISOs. You have 800 and 12,800. That's it. No other ISOs on there. Changing the exposure index does nothing. You're either in low or high ISO. Follow me so far? Okay. So you set your camera at 800. You look at the scene and you're like, this is too dark. What are my options? Well, if you start turning what you traditionally would think was your ISO, you're changing the exposure index. You're not doing anything. You're still 800 ISO. The screen's gonna look brighter, but you're not changing anything. The only way to make your camera more sensitive to light is to go to 12,800 ISO. So you have two choices when you're at 800 and you don't have enough light. Choice number one, add more light. Choice number two, go to 12,800. That's it. Those are your only two choices. So now if you go to 12,800 and now there's too much light, well, now you just put an ND on. It's really that simple. And this is where it's like, you have to wrap your head around this because you never would think like in a, a low light situation that you would use ND. But that's, that's what you have to think about. All you're doing is using 800 or 12,800 and then you control the amount of light that hits the sensor from there that will maximize, not maximize, that's the wrong word, that will optimize the exposure. So you go to 12,800, it's too bright, add some ND. If you're at 12,800 and it's still not bright enough, your only choice then is to add light. You have to bring more light into the scene. There's nothing else you can do. If you're at 800 and it's too bright, you add ND. So daytime, NDs are gonna be your friend with this camera now. You have to use ND with it or you have to have lights. Remember, you wanted a cinema camera. Well, in cinema, they use lights. They use lighting, they use sound design, they use external audio, they use all that stuff. It's all about controlling light. This camera gives you two ISOs that are gonna maximize the dynamic range. They're also gonna minimize the amount of noise. None of those problematic ISOs in between 800 and 12,800 are gonna be there. And then nothing above 12,800 you're gonna ever have to use. So you're gonna never have noise in your images if you stick with those two ISOs only and you either add light or take light away. That's how Cine EI mode works. Very simple. Don't worry about exposure index. Don't worry about what it looks like on your screen. Stay in 800, stay in 12,800. Don't change the exposure index. If you want me to make a video, leave a comment down below and I'll explain how exposure index is really supposed to work, but it's opposite of what you think it is. If you're underexposed, you lower the exposure index till you add enough light in there to make it look right, which is counterintuitive. I'm not gonna get into it. Let's just leave it at this short video about exposure index. Wanna explain it quickly here? That's my point. So if you found this view video useful, you know, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm just a regular guy that makes videos with gear that I purchase with my own money, try and help other people out. The only way you can support me is uh, liking this video, commenting, and uh, subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.